Hey guys, I've got a very exciting update for you. Um, thank you for your patience while I was on that ski week with my family. Uh, but I've come back and I've got a scheme here that is just a hair under 3,200 square feet. We're looking at 3,195 square feet of living area for this home layout. And um, looking at the existing topography uh, shown underneath here, we are just staying out of that grassy area. You know, we're, we're coming a little close in here, but we're, we're free of the glass. Maybe some, some new hardscape might be nice right here against the, the house. Um, so we can step out from the master suite, um, the master bathroom this way. Uh, but certainly some sliding glass doors right here will let us out onto this existing hardscape without impacting too much of the grassy area. So just a hair under 3,200 square feet, and I think this plan has a lot going for it. So taking a look at the simpler plan, the garage has gotten a little bit narrower in width, although the depth is about the same. Uh, the mudroom is now just a mudroom, no laundry or bathroom facilities this way. I've instead opted to try and fit a half bath, a powder, right here adjacent to the flex room, right off the foyer. Um, really convenient access for the guests you, you know, that are uh, in the family room, the dining room. Maybe not uh, hyper convenient for people to get to from the backyard, um, but it's not so bad. I think given all the trade-offs and use, uh, uses that we're talking about, I think this is still better than trying to say let's have one of the kids' bedrooms on suite bathrooms be accessible as also a hallway bath. Um, I think that would be kind of shortchanging that one kid who uh, has to share their bathroom with the public, uh, especially if it was um, your daughter's bedroom here. Um, so, you know, I'm really excited about this. I'm going to email this over to you right now so that you can review it and we can meet tomorrow to discuss what's going on here. But just a, a quick overview. I, I think in terms of massing, I think this thing should turn out really nicely with the great room being the high vaulted space here, um, and then the flex room, foyer, and covered porch sort of being a shed roof that is high up here and sheds down this way. I think that's going to look really, really nice. Uh, I'm excited about what this is going to look like. Um, so we would come into a pretty wide foyer. It, it's basically being driven by the width of the great room. But off the foyer um, is access to the flex room and to the half bath, as well as a little open um, seating area for guests to sit down on when they first come in to take their shoes off or to sit and wait for someone to come and, and get them if they're asking for, you know, uh, to see someone. Um, you know, this could have been an enclosed bit of, you know, like a walk-in coat closet or some walled-in storage area. But I am an advocate and a fan for the openness. I think it's going to look a little bit nicer and a bit more welcoming to have some open area here off the foyer. Um, and right off the foyer would be this coat closet here, directly across from a small little uh, hallway display area, or this could be that um, new homework station area that we're talking about in the hallway. Uh, it's not too far off, too far away from the rest of the house if it's right here. Um, and then I think my bedroom layout may look pretty similar to ones that you've seen recently from me, but I really like this one. You know, um, it was a bit of a struggle trying to get a good amount of glass in here for your daughter's bedroom looking out towards the back without conflicting too much with this covered porch area, still retaining the sliding pocket doors. Um, but I think this is going to work out. There should be plenty of light to see, plenty of a good connection to that elm tree right here. Um, and we've got the closet separating uh, your master suite from her bedroom. I'm really happy with this. The hallways have gotten a lot tighter. Um, you know, I would say that we're still counting, uh, you know, this area here as, as uh, circulation as well as this and this area here, but this is significantly less hallway than what I was showing previously. Maybe we even count this area still as hallway, but even, even doing so, um, it's a lot less hallway space, maybe 20% less than what I was showing before. Um, every bedroom still has an ensuite with, um, and those bathrooms will all have access to natural light. 
this one may be a little bit tricky, right? So I'm showing here at the covered porch in this alcove area, there can be a nice little uh, built-in buffet here or some built-in low storage. Um, I'd like to make sure I can squeeze in a, a high frosted window right here to bring light in to this uh, shower area, but it's in the covered porch, so it'll bring some light in, but it's not going to be too bright in here. Maybe we think about incorporating a, a skylight right here, perhaps, so that we can bring in some more light this way through the pocket door for the bathroom, but that's something we can discuss uh, a little bit further uh, in more detail together. Uh, I love having the, the laundry room here. Um, central, right smack in the middle of all four bedrooms. I think this is a really logical place for it. Um, yeah, I'm not too concerned about getting a duct out this way for the dryer. I'm, I'm sure that'd be fine. Uh, let's see. So, you know, to squeeze things down, the kids' bedrooms did get a little bit smaller. So instead of being 11 uh, by 13, they're typically, I think, maybe, uh, let's, uh, let's check the dimensions real quick. Um, and 11 by 12 and a half, 12 by 10, and you know, a quarter, um, and again, 11 and a quarter by 12 and a half. So the bedrooms did get a little bit smaller, but I think overall, the square footage um, is just right under that 3,200 square foot limit. The garage is a little bit narrower in this direction, but I still feel like we've retained uh, a lot of things that you've um, said you've liked about previous iterations. Um, but now we have the, the big wide driveway here um, and we're staying clear of the grass. And I don't see anything that's really missing from this. Um, I'm curious to hear your thoughts, of course, so I look forward to our meeting tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this design. Uh, one thing about the master bathroom you know, I really like this layout. I love that you, when you open the door to your master suite, this area is a bit like a, a bit of a vestibule, and I could see putting some, uh, a nice pit, bit of uh, artwork or a large mirror right here at the end of the hallway, so that if your door is left open and people come in, uh, there's something nice to look at at the end of the hallway here. But then, you know, it's just a, once you get to this spot here and you turn right, you're gonna look out the, the bank of glass right here and get a great shot of the elm. And then once you come up this way, you're gonna get a great shot of the oak looking at this glass here. So I really love this master bathroom or master bedroom location. Um, the bathroom I like too, although I'm curious to hear your thoughts. I like having this circulation zone with a sliding glass door right here that can allow direct access from the backyard into your master, your master bath. But if you wanted a little more vanity space than the six foot I'm showing here, the six foot wide double vanity. We could rotate the tub this way and do a much wider vanity, but I wanna hear your thoughts on that. I, I think, you know, based on your, your sketches and your ideas, I don't know if you want a very long vanity, but if you did and ex at the expense of that direct access to the outside, it could certainly be accommodated. So let me know what your thoughts are there. Um, let's see, anything else? No, I'm really excited about this. I think this is a fantastic design, uh, and I really look forward to your thoughts, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.